Today we're with the level two diploma in arboriculture, which is um, essentially tree surgery. Um, and today they're practicing their tree climbing and aerial rescue, um, which is leading towards their in-course assessments for their diploma and also will lead towards what we call a secondary learning goal, which is a certificate in competence, which is awarded by the National Proficiency Test Council. So we've got some, uh, some of the lads are actually climbing the tree and they're going to simulate a, an accident where they'll get stuck in the canopy of the tree uh, to which one of their colleagues will go up and, and rescue them and perform an aerial rescue. For those that aren't climbing, they're on the ground practising, um, throwing their ropes into a tree, also using something called a throw line where we can access the tree. Um, and practicing knots and such. Right, gents. Um, plan for the day. Usual drills. We're practicing aerial rescue again. I want to see everyone today gets top anchor at least, and I want everyone to perform at least one aerial rescue. I'm hoping that some of you will be performing aerial rescue to CS38 standard because we'll be looking at getting you in for your assessments fairly shortly. Um, so there are our objectives for the day. Remember, we want to be using cambium savers for those at top anchor get used to using those and start utilising these work position lanyards as well. All right, any questions? All right, let's have your pre-climb inspections of the tree and kit and uh, first in each pair can then make a start. Right, if you drop through then, Dan. Just before you start, Ben. So, uh, if Dan's had an accident and he swung into this fork, you're on the ground, you're not up the tree at the moment. What's, uh, what's the first thing you're going to do? Anything before that? We've got a big work site, we've got 30 blokes climbing. Before that. Dan, can you help him out? What's the first thing we do? We've had an accident, you've had an accident. What's Ben gonna do before he starts his rescue? Yeah, we need to know what's up with them. Can they get themselves down? But if we've got chipper going over here, we've got two blokes climbing over here, another three blokes. So, sorry? Yeah, absolutely. We need to raise the alarm, don't we? Stop work, stop everything going on, get the, get the site quiet. And then we're going to talk to the casualty, make sure that they're conscious, um, what their injuries are, can they get down themselves? There's no point you climbing, Ben, unless uh, if he can get himself. Yeah. What else? What about your ascent into the tree? Um, making sure it's getting a decent anchor point. Um, that consisted of? A double, like, take two of weight. So, so. Why is that then? Why did you need to ensure that you could take double the weight? Just in case that has to bring onto my one rope. Okay, good. What else did you think went well? Um, I thought it went well that um, Right but also you want enough so you're getting a nice load of leverage here yeah, with that with that pendulum swing effect. Just like that really? Yep, perfect. And then look at where you want to go and as you throw it just point at that fork. It's good, good height. Not quite on there though. That's good. If in this instance, because we've gone through all this thrift here, yeah. It, what might happen is when we pull that back out, the bag could get stuck, yeah. and then we're climbing it old-fashioned. Yeah. So it's always an idea to take the bag off before you pull the, the throw so line back through. Yeah. Back yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah. 